Hello grade 6, I am teacher Ars. I'm so excited to be your English teacher for today. You just need to listen and focus. Don't forget to prepare your learner's packet and pen and paper. I'm sure you're all ready to learn and explore. Our lesson title is Organizing Information from Secondary Sources. Let's have a review. Sources of information are primary sources and secondary sources, right? So what are primary sources? It's a Primary sources are the first-hand contemporary account of an event. They are the most direct evidence of a time or event. These sources are original materials. Examples of which are memoirs, letters, autobiography, artifacts, first-hand accounts, and written works. What is secondary sources? This is a document or recording that gives information a primary sources. The original information is selected, modified, and arranged in a suitable format. Examples of which are reference materials, non-fiction books, biographies, non-print materials, almanacs, atlases and gazetteers, specialized references, CD-room references, periodicals, encyclopedia, video references, and electronic databases. Take note that secondary resources involve generalization, analysis, interpretation, evaluation of the original information. Also take note that in organizing information, it involves a thorough reading, validation of the fact, and writing comprehensively. There's a lot, right? Don't worry, because today we will learn how to analyze and organize information from secondary sources. First one is location. In location, we can organize information by showing visual representation through diagrams, analogs, graphic representation, and maps. See, for example, the graphic representation of the nervous system. Next one is alphabet. We can organize information using specific terms in alphabetical order like dictionaries and index. You can take a look on how words are arranged in the dictionaries. It is from A to Z. Next one, important factor is time. We can organize information by the use of fishbone, timeline, steps, and cycle graphic organizers, like we have in the history of humanity. Next is category. It's totally different in time because in here, we are going to group the information into similar characteristics such as color, size, usage, brand, texture, materials, gender, 
age, model, price, content, and nature. And last, we have the hierarchy. We use this to indicate the ranks as to heaviest to lightest, smallest to brightest. Good job, grade 6, in finishing our discussion. So right now, I know you can answer our comprehension check. This is how it goes. Read the following question. Each question, you will have 30 seconds to answer. Here's the first question. What are the secondary sources of information? 30 seconds starts now. Time is up. Now for question number two. How can you organize information from secondary sources? 30 seconds starts now. And now for the last question. Are these ideas really helpful in organizing information? 30 seconds starts now. Thirty seconds is over. Now let's check your answer. Answer number one, secondary sources of information are documents or recording that give information from a primary sources. Did you get it right? Wow, that's amazing. Answer number two, we can organize information from secondary sources through the use of location, alphabet, time, category, and hierarchy. And for the last answer, we have These ideas are helpful in organizing information for us to be more effective in writing compositions and presenting oral and written reports. So this time, thank you so much, Grade 6, for answering all of those questions. See you next time in more episodes of Learning and Exploring the English World. This is Teacher Arlene and see you again.